Hi everyone, hope you're all okay. I'm actually amazed and thrilled to notice that I've got over 300 subscribers to my channel. Um, to be honest, I, I'm i just astounded. Uh, when lockdown came last year in March 2020, um, obviously you couldn't go anywhere and being a painter I couldn't run, do the art classes that I used to run. So I decided to um, have a go at some online classes and have a look at abstract art. I've always been fascinated by it, never really known how to start. So I had a look online for free um, taster courses and the first one I came across was Louise Fletcher. So the early parts here were Louise Fletcher's uh, course all about mark making and colour and I absolutely loved it. It really was good. And so I got myself a book and stuck the um, artwork into a book. And then I started to embellish the book to make it interesting for when I looked through it again or showed it to people. Um, so, you know, it, it, I, I don't know what to say really. It was just such almost like an epiphany for me. I'd always been a watercolourist um, and I liked experimenting with wet in wet and, you know, doing slightly different things. But abstract in acrylic really allowed me to do much more. This one here was an old painting that I tried ages ago and you can see all the ridges on it that was all paint. And I used it to paint another little landscape. Um, this one here um, is of my beach here at Caister, where I live in Norfolk. Um, and we had little swirls and all sorts of things. And some of the pages I have are where I cleaned my brush with old little paint that was left over. Uh, another one at Caister. Um, looks a bit grim. <laughs> Um, this one here is just exploring with different colours, not really anything in mind. And what I tend to do is I then go back into them with watercolour inks and create marks and lines and doodles and just let, you know, your mind wander. I found it very therapeutic and last year, to be honest, just did seem to fly past for me, whether it was the fact that I was doing this or whether... It did actually go quickly for everyone. Another one of Caster here, looking north, towards where at Yarmouth. Um, yeah. But, you know, the little um, artwork I did, I, some of them I actually um, did videos on, and I have actually posted them on my channel. And you may recognise some, some of the um, um, artwork in my journal here. But um, the others, I didn't really want to do it or I forgot to, to run the video. But it was fascinating. Like this here, the lines I put on, by the time I'd stuck them on the page, I realised they all interconnected with each other. So, you know, and this page here is all my waste paint. And then I just set about it with my marker pen and mm, there we go. Um, what we've got here is this little art gallery at the bottom here cut from a larger painting that didn't go too well but I'll tell you about that later. Um, these are from photographs of boats, there we are, um, totally abstracted. Um, I did a course with Tracy Verdurgo from Australia and that was really good. Um, this one here was just putting limited colours on, making marks, um, playing around with shapes here bit of finger painting that was good fun I enjoyed that it didn't fit on the page so I cut the strips off and put them on the other side um, that were either side of the thing so I didn't really want to throw them away because I thought they were rather nice and this one here is actually part of a larger painting it was about the only decent bit of it so I've cut that off and here is the larger piece now the one you've just seen is top left what I did with the rest of it, I cut it into two centimetre squares and then spent all afternoon sticking them onto a page. And this is what I ended up with. Um, I had some added stencils that I put on and this was the piece that ended up from that bit that I showed you earlier. And I absolutely love it. I was astounded at how, as a whole, it made a different picture. 
but each little square is like a painting in its own right. I was absolutely astounded, and I love it. Um, so if you ever do any, I the painters amongst you, if you ever do anything, don't chuck it away. Try chopping it up <laughs> into two centimetre squares and sticking on a bit of paper. It was amazing. Um, this is from some of the photographs that I, oh dear, uh, took of my own. Um, this is a bit of imagination work, playing with colours, playing with brush strokes, um, adding stencils. Um, I bought a couple of stencils, added them, um, a little bit of traditional with a few stencils added. The top picture is um, a little lamp, uh, seascape is caster again. Um, and this one here, you know, all those flies you get shoved through the letterbox you don't know what to do with. Well, I tore one of the furniture companies into strips and then did a bit of collage. I think the last time I did collage was when I was at school, but I was really quite surprised at how I liked it. Um, this in particular, um, I quite liked how all the shapes and the colours worked out. I had a dabble at lino cutting. Um, I still do it occasionally, and that's there. A bit more collage. Reminds me of yachts in a lighthouse on the left there. I don't know what you can see in it, but I can see yachts at sea. And, a... and then I got some FW acrylic inks, and this was my first effort, inspired by Louise Fletcher, I would say, of um, using those um, acrylic inks and then working back into it with a pen. Um, and that's something that I really do enjoy doing. It's like a little bit of doodling and let the mind go. So um, that's coming to the end now, I think. So that's my lockdown book for 2020. I do have another one. I, I've bought another book, which I'm slowly starting to fill. So once that's filled, um, perhaps I'll have reached 600 by then. But <laughs> I've been able to show you a bit more. But anyway, thanks for getting this far. Thanks for watching. And thank you so much for subscribing. It's been a blast. Thanks so much. Bye.